society. Through the advancing market of biometrics, technology that uses physiological and behavioral recognition to identify people. A system touted as a national security necessity is being used to build a database where the biometric identity of millions of Americans will be gathered and stored. Recognition of unwanted visitors. Face recognition and iris scanning are the current tools of the trade. However, scientists are reportedly developing new technology aimed at identifying anyone from much greater distances. If researchers are successful, the Defense Department may eventually be able to detect individuals by ear shape, heartbeat, walking patterns, and possibly even odor. Long-range fingerprint and iris scanning are reportedly also being explored for the U.S. toolbox of tracking. Are there reasons to have such security devices? Sure. Um, do I think it's American? Do I think it's appropriate that somebody can press a button and determine everywhere I've been, everything I've done, everyone I've been with? No, it's wrong. And, and I think that we're entitled to privacy. Author and journalist A.J. Jacobs recently spent three months documenting every second of his life with a small camera worn like a Bluetooth. It's remarkable. It holds 10 hours of video. Esquire magazine's editor-at-large subscribed to self-surveillance for an article about life logging. Yet he believes the market of high-tech cameras and consumer biometric applications will soon make little brother an equally big concern. And I think that we are... Uh, we're not going to have a private moment. As companies like Apple move towards fingerprint readers and facial recognition, insiders say that consumer electronics will generate an entirely new source of revenue for the biometric industry, an industry estimated to bank more than $9 billion globally this year. However, the top cash cow is expected to remain government spending on security. No big. In the past five years, the Department of Defense has shelled out an estimated $3 billion on biometric programs. Hard to believe that just 10 years ago, the concept of facial recognition, biometric surveillance, and domestic drones was limited to science fiction movies like Minority Report. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York. I thought I'd give you an update on how I have completely taken over your country. And the same plan that I've put in place in multiple other countries, countries that used to be great countries, is the same plan that I am this close, this close, to completing. You see, your US dollar is pretty much toilet paper right now. And all of my buddies that think they're so cool over at the Federal Reserve that are working for me, because I'm the big boss here, I'm the one that they worship. All of those guys continue to inflate your currency, debase your currency, and eventually when your currency falls, the inflation that it will export will be so massive that the rest of the world will hate Americans. That's my plan. And it's working beautifully. Inflation's running rampant. You know it. But through my media outlets, they continue to tell the flock, the sheeple, that there's no inflation. And people have been so dumbed down, they don't even know what inflation is until it's too late. So I'm right, I'm going to keep up the money printing, because I'm the one who decides. Not Bernanke. And not even Janet Yellen, who'll be the new Fed chief. I decide what happens. Because I run your country. What about running both parties? You see, over, I gotta tell you, out of all of the plans that I've set up, the two party system is probably my favorite. In fact, your founding fathers warned you about it, but through my brilliant educational plan, which I'll get to in a second, founding fathers today are just seen as white slave owning terrorists. Isn't that absolutely brilliant? But see, your founders warned you about the two-party system. They told you it was morally bankrupt. But today, when one party's elected, and they do an absolutely abysmal job, the rest of Americans run to the other party, and there is no difference at all. In the den of vipers in Washington, yeah, I understand there's a few holdouts, maybe Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, but let me tell you, me... And my people are doing 
everything we can to get them to. Just like we've gotten your president, just like we've gotten McCain and Lindsey Graham and all these other guys, because they work for me. I run your country now. What about education? That's right, yesterday you saw a dad in Baltimore being arrested because he thought he had the gall to ask a question at a school board meeting. Well, that's not the way it works anymore, America. Questions are not allowed to be asked. Common Core is the new law of the land, and that's right. It comes down from the UN, and your kids are going to be worker bees. They're going to work for all the multinational companies that I run. And on top of that, Google, Yahoo, my personal buddy, Bill Gates, he's going to have all of your data, all your kids' data, and we're just going to make him a fat, happy consumer that's dumbed down. That's what Common Core is all about. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. In fact, Common Core, one of my personal favorite things, because, you know, it's really about the children, and I just love the children. Common Core is so brilliant because what it will do is that your kids won't even learn how to read or write cursive writing. So that means they won't even be able to read the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. They won't even know what it is. In fact, most of them don't know what it is. I'm sure you know that in a recent poll, only about 25%, or excuse me, 25% didn't even know the country America broke away from in the revolution. So yes, my puppet, Barack Obama, when he tells you it's a fundamental transformation, you better believe it's a fundamental transformation. What about the NSA and wiretapping and spying? Well, now, if you want to take down the society, what you do is you make sure that society doesn't trust itself. You see, Americans used to trust in each other. But now at the shopping malls or at the Walmarts, it's say something, see something, say something. Don't trust your neighbor. He might be a terrorist. But at the same time, your government is funding the terrorist. Isn't that just absolutely brilliant? <laughs> I just love that part of it. You have to give up all your rights at home. Your children are groped. Your wife is patted down in front of you. You don't do anything about it. But your government continues to fund and arm Al-Qaeda. It is probably the most... I mean, i got to really just give myself a pat on the back for that one. And uh, prescription drugs, that's right. Every mass shooting has been done with somebody that was totally just jacked on prescription drugs. America is the number one taker of prescription drugs. And not just prescription drugs, but mind-bending prescription drugs. The ones that make you go nutbag, cuckoo, loco. Why do I do that? Because eventually, there'll be more of them. And guess what? They're coming for your guns, Americans. And they're going to take them. And there's nothing you can do about it. What about the food supply? You want to know why cancer rates are up a thousand plus percent? You know, I remember a couple hundred years ago when I used to have to deal with real food. It's like, you know, like that was kind of cool to eat real food. Today you eat GMO food, genetically modified food, filled with chemicals and additives that corrupt your insides. I understand there's some of holdouts out there that are still trying to eat organic or non-GMO. But know this. If you're a farmer... I'm coming for you. If you're a small farmer with an organic farm, I'm coming for you. And so are my buddies at the U.S. government. They're coming for you, too. Lastly, it's the morality. You see, Americans have been so dumb that they've allowed me to take down the Ten Commandments, the very fabric of a moral society, a rules of a moral society. I'm taking those down, and there's nothing you can do about it. And so your children grow up with no morality. The new morality, the, the, what's replaced the Ten Commandments, is Grand Theft Auto and the Kardashians. That's the new.